It was a late October evening, the kind where the chill in the air hinted at the coming winter. Alex, an adventurous spirit with a love for the open road, decided on a spontaneous night drive through the winding countryside. The moon was full, casting an eerie glow that made the bare trees lining the road appear like skeletal hands reaching out from the darkness. As the clock struck midnight, a dense fog began to roll in, reducing visibility to a mere few feet in front of Alex's car. The once familiar road now seemed alien and foreboding. Unperturbed, Alex pressed on, the thrill of adventure outweighing the creeping unease. Suddenly, the car's headlights flickered and died, plunging Alex into darkness. The engine sputtered and went silent, leaving only the sound of Alex's own breathing and the faint whisper of the wind through the trees. Stranded, Alex decided to venture out in search of help. The smartphone dead from hours of use without a charge. A dim light in the distance promised sanctuary. A lone farmhouse that seemed to appear out of nowhere. As Alex approached, the door creaked open on its own, inviting yet ominous. Inside, the house was shrouded in shadows. The only light coming from a flickering candle in the far corner of the room. The air was heavy with the scent of decay, and an unsettling silence pervaded the space. No inhabitants were in sight, yet Alex felt the unmistakable sensation of being watched. The candlelight cast peculiar shadows on the walls, morphing into twisted, grotesque figures that seemed to dance in the periphery of Alex's vision. Venturing deeper into the house, Alex discovered a series of old, faded photographs depicting a family from a bygone era. Their eyes scratched out, leaving hollow voids. A sense of sorrow and malice emanated from the images, as if the subjects were trapped, reaching out for release. As the clock in the house chimed an eerie, discordant tune, the temperature dropped suddenly, breath visible in the air. A soft, almost inaudible whisper filled the room, words indiscernible, yet filled with an urgent malevolence. The shadows grew darker, the figures more defined, encircling Alex in a macabre dance. In a panic, Alex fled the house, the whispering growing louder, a cacophony of voices that seemed to come from everywhere and nowhere. The fog outside was now impenetrable, the farmhouse disappearing as if it had never existed. Lost and disoriented, Alex wandered through the fog, the line between reality and nightmare blurring. The whispering persisted constant presence that seemed to be both a guide and a tormentor. Time lost meaning as the night stretched on, the darkness never waning. The road, the car, and the farmhouse seemed like distant memories, elements of a dream from which Alex could not awaken. The only certainty was the fog unnerving feeling of being led deeper into an unknown abyss. As dawn approached, the fog began to lift, but the landscape that emerged was not the familiar countryside. Instead, it was an endless road, flanked by an impenetrable darkness, a road that promised neither escape nor sanctuary eternal journey into the unknown. And so, the story of Alex's night drive remains unresolved. A tale suspended in the twilight between reality and nightmare. A journey with no destination. A story 
waiting to be continued. As the endless road stretched before Alex, the realization dawned that returning to the familiar world might no longer be an option. With each step, the whispering voices grew louder. An unintelligible chorus that seemed to mock Alex's desperate attempts to find a way back. The landscape began to change subtly. The trees along the road twisting into more sinister forms. Their branches reaching out like desperate, gnarled fingers. The air grew colder. The chill seeping into Alex's bones. A constant reminder of the unnatural world they had stumbled into. In the distance, a faint light flickered, not unlike the one that had led Alex to the mysterious farmhouse. Hope sparked within, driving tired legs forward. However, as the source of the light came into view, it was not the promise of salvation, but a dilapidated gas station, abandoned and reclaimed by the surrounding wilderness. The pumps stood like silent sentinels. Their numbers faded and screens cracked. The convenience store's windows were boarded up. The glass behind them shattered. Yet, the flickering light persisted, beckoning from within the store's gloomy interior. With trepidation, Alex approached the building whispering voices reaching a fevered pitch, as if excited by the prospect of new developments. Inside, the light source revealed itself to be an old television set. The screen filled with static, casting an erratic glow that did little to pierce the surrounding darkness. Among the debris and forgotten memories of the place, a dusty road map lay on the counter. Its edges frayed and corners curled. As Alex moved to examine it, the television's static fluctuated wildly. And for a moment, amidst the chaos, a clear image flickered into existence. A shadowy figure standing at the edge of the road, its features obscured, but its intent unmistakably malevolent. The map when Alex finally managed to unfold it, was unlike any they had seen before. The roads twisted upon themselves in impossible ways, intersections leading to dead ends, and routes that circled back to their origins. It was a labyrinth designed not to guide, but to confound and trap. As Alex studied the map, trying to make sense of the impossible geography, temperature dropped further. A visible frost forming on the inside of the windows. The whispering voices crescendoed into a loud, indistinct chatter, and the television static surged, casting the shadowy figure's image more frequently. Each appearance closer to the screen, its movements more frantic. In the midst of this chaos, the front door of the gas station swung open violently. The wind howling as it invaded the space, scattering papers and debris. Through the open doorway, the road was visible once more, but it was no longer empty. Figures, shadowy and indistinct, lined the sides of the road, their bodies motionless, but for the slight sway in the unrelenting wind the map in hand, and the television's static echoing the whispers. Alex faced a choice. To venture back onto the road among the silent watchers, or to remain in the dubious shelter of the gas station, surrounded by the relics of a world left behind. Choosing the road meant facing the unknown entities that awaited intentions obscured by the darkness, staying promised no safety either. As the boundary between the natural and the supernatural grew ever thinner, 
the gas station becoming a nexus of unexplained phenomena. As Alex stepped toward the threshold, the figures on the road seemed to lean forward in anticipation. The television static reached a deafening pitch, and the map fluttered as if caught in an unseen storm. The choice loomed large, not just a matter of direction, but of fate itself. A decision that would lead Alex further into the heart of this nocturnal nightmare. The story hanging in the balance, awaiting the next chapter. Deep, steadying breath, Alex stepped over the threshold, back onto the road that seemed to pulsate with an unseen menace. The figures lining the path remained motionless, their features indistinct, yet their presence was oppressive, a tangible weight on Alex's shoulders. As Alex moved forward, the whispering voices fell into a hushed silence the anticipation in the air palpable. The figures seemed to watch with unseen eyes, their attention fixed on Alex's every move. The road ahead twisted into the darkness, the moon obscured by thick, roiling clouds that seemed to swallow the light whole. The map, clutched tightly in Alex's hand, fluttered as if caught in an unseen breeze its pages turning of their own accord. The routes depicted on the paper no longer conformed to any logic. The lines dancing and shifting under the gaze, forming patterns that teased at the edge of understanding, only to dissolve into chaos once more. Driven by an inexplicable compulsion, Alex followed the shifting routes on the map, each turn leading deeper into the unknown. The trees along the path began to change, their bark turning a sickly pallor, leaves whispering with a language not meant for human ears. Suddenly, the ground beneath Alex's feet began to tremble, a low rumble that grew in intensity until it was a deafening roar. The figures along the road stirred, forms blurring and merging into the darkness, becoming one with the shadows. From the depths of the earth, a fissure cracked open, revealing an abyss that pulsed with a malevolent light. The air was filled with the scent of decay and the sound of distant, tortured screams. The map in Alex's hand disintegrated into dust, carried away by a wind that seemed to emanate from the abyss itself. Standing at the edge of the chasm, Alex peered into the depths, where shapes moved with deliberate intent, their forms too horrific to fully comprehend. The whispering voices returned, louder than before, a cacophony that threatened to overwhelm Alex's senses. In that moment, the boundary between worlds thinned a mere veil. The 
horrors beyond clawing their way into reality. The road, the figures, the gas station, all were swallowed by the growing darkness, leaving Alex on the precipice of an unimaginable terror. As the abyss threatened to consume everything, the story paused. The fate of Alex hanging in the balance, the darkness waiting to envelop not just the protagonist, but the very narrative itself. A tale that teeters on the brink of the abyss, awaiting the courage to peer into its depths once more. With the daunting decision looming, Alex's gaze shifted between the eerie congregation on the road and the deceptive safety of the gas station. The weight of the choice was paralyzing. Each option fraught unseen dangers and the promise of deeper mysteries. Resolving to take control of the situation, Alex stepped cautiously onto the road. The map clutched tightly in hand as a silent defiance against the encroaching despair. The figures that lined the road remained motionless, their features obscured by the darkness, yet their presence was oppressively tangible. As Alex passed, there was a palpable shift in the atmosphere, a charged silence that seemed to hang in the air, heavy with anticipation. With each step, the whispers grew more coherent, morphing into disjointed phrases that hinted at lost tales and forgotten tragedies. The road itself seemed to react to Alex's presence, the pavement crackling slightly underfoot, as if it were a living entity awakened from a deep slumber. Suddenly, the static from the gas station's television erupted into a loud, clear broadcast, cutting through the night with an urgent message. Turn back before it's too late. The voice was unfamiliar, yet it carried an undeniable authority, a warning that sent a shiver down Alex's spine. Ignoring the chilling advice, Alex pressed on, driven by a need to uncover the truth behind this nightmarish reality. The road began to slope downward, leading into a dense fog that seemed to swallow all light, rendering the flashlight nearly useless. In this new layer of fog, the surroundings became even more surreal, the landscape shifting subtly with each step, trees twisted into strange shapes, their branches entwining to form arches over the road, creating a tunnel that led into an impenetrable darkness. As Alex ventured deeper into the tunnel, the sound of footsteps echoed from behind, suggesting a pursuit by an unseen entity. The temptation to look back was overwhelming, but tales of old warned against such actions in the face of supernatural threats. The end of the tunnel eventually came into view, opening up to a vast, moonlit clearing. In the center stood an ancient stone well, its structure covered in moss and ivy, giving it an almost organic appearance. The whispers coalesced around the well, their words clearer now, urging Alex closer with promises of answers and an end to the journey. Drawn to the well by a force beyond understanding, Alex peered into its depths, expecting darkness, but instead finding a faint, pulsating light emanating from below. The light grew brighter, illuminating the well's walls, which were etched with symbols that seemed to dance in the glow, their meanings tantalizingly out of reach. The ground trembled slightly, a low rumble that seemed to emanate from the well itself, as if it were a gateway to something ancient and powerful. The air grew thick with the scent of rain and earth, 
a storm brewing on the horizon of this surreal landscape. Standing at the edge of the well, with the echoes of pursuit growing closer, and the storm threatening to unleash its fury, Alex faced the unknown once more, the decision to delve deeper into the well's mysteries, or to confront the approaching threat, would shape the path forward, leading further into a world where the lines between reality and nightmare were irrevocably blurred. And so, the tale remains, suspended in a moment of choice, a narrative thread waiting to be woven into the fabric of this dark and endless story. As the tremors beneath Alex's feet intensified, the pulsating light from within the well surged, casting an otherworldly glow over the clearing. The symbols on the well's interior seemed to come alive, their movements more frantic, as if in response to Alex's proximity. The storm clouds above mirrored this unrest, swirling with an energy that felt both ancient and ominous. Faced with the growing storm and the enigmatic well, Alex's resolve wavered momentarily. The whispers, now clear and insistent, offered cryptic guidance, urging Alex to embrace the well's mystery as the path to understanding the night's surreal events. Despite the fear and uncertainty, there was a compelling allure the well's depths, a promise of answers that might unravel the night's enigmatic occurrences. With a deep breath, Alex reached out, the fingertips barely grazing the moss-covered stones of the well when the ground shook violently. A clear warning, or perhaps a deterrent from delving any deeper, the air crackled with electricity. The impending storm's first drops beginning to fall, mixing with the well's ancient dust to release a scent that spoke of times long past. The echo of footsteps that had pursued Alex through the tunnel grew louder, more urgent, as if the entity behind them was drawing near driven by the same storm that now threatened to break. The tension between the approaching entity and the well's mysterious allure created a palpable sense of impending confrontation or revelation. As the first flash of lightning illuminated the clearing, Alex caught a glimpse of the approaching figure. It was indistinct, shrouded in the same mist that had enveloped the night its form flickering with each subsequent flash, never fully revealing itself, but clearly moving with purpose towards Alex and the well. 
In this charged moment, with the storm above and the unknown below, Alex stood at the precipice of the tangible and the supernatural, the past and the present colliding in a maelstrom of mystery and danger. The well, now seemingly a conduit for the storm's energy, pulsed with a more intense light, its call nearly irresistible. The choice that lay before Alex was no longer just about seeking shelter or confronting the shadowy pursuer, but about delving into the depths of the unknown, possibly uncovering the truth behind this endless night, or becoming forever ensnared in its mysteries. The well's glow, the encroaching figure, and the storm's fury all converged on this singular moment. A nexus of fear, curiosity, and the human instinct for survival. As the first heavy drops of rain began to fall, mingling with the well's ancient whispers, Alex took a step closer to the edge, the light from below reflecting in determined eyes. The story hung in the balance, a tale of darkness and light, the seen and the unseen, with each decision leading further into the heart of the mystery, the narrative thread extending into the shadows, awaiting the next chapter in this unending horror story. In the heart of the storm, with the rain now cascading down in sheets, clearing around Alex became a blurred vista of shadows and light. The figure advancing through the tempest was mere moments away, its form clearer with each lightning strike, yet still an enigma wrapped in the night's embrace. The well's luminescence reached a crescendo, casting a beacon-like glow that pierced the darkness beckoning light, a stark contrast to the encroaching shadow. The ancient symbols along the well's interior danced frenetically, as if in anticipation of the impending meeting between Alex, the mysterious figure, and the well's hidden secrets. As the figure stepped into the edge of the well's light, it paused, as if hesitant to enter fully into the glow. This momentary stillness offered Alex a fleeting glimpse of the entity's features. Not quite human, but not entirely otherworldly. A visage that blurred the lines between the familiar and the uncanny. The storm's fury seemed to mirror the tension in the clearing. Thunderclaps resonating with the well's pulsating energy, creating a symphony of natural and supernatural forces. The rain, now a deluge, seemed to cleanse the air, bringing with it a clarity that pierced the veil of uncertainty that had shrouded the night. Driven by a mixture of fear and fascination, Alex reached out towards the well once more, this time with a determined resolve. The action seemed to catalyze the moment, the figure stepping forward into the light, revealing itself as neither threat nor ally, but as a guardian of sorts. Its presence, a necessary balance to the well's enigmatic power, with a gesture that spoke of ancient rituals and unspoken pacts. The guardian motioned towards the well, inviting Alex to peer into its depths. The light from below now appeared as a swirling vortex, a gateway to realms beyond comprehension, its pull almost irresistible. As Alex leaned forward, the Guardian's presence offered a silent reassurance, a counterbalance to the well's overwhelming allure. The rain, the thunder, flickering symbols, and the Guardian's watchful gaze 
all converged on this singular moment of revelation, where the veil between worlds thinned to a mere whisper. Within the well's depths, visions began to coalesce from the light, fragmented scenes of other times and places, echoes of events that had shaped the very fabric of this nightmarish landscape. Each vision hinted at stories untold, tragedies and triumphs woven into the well's ancient stones. Yet, as the pieces of this cosmic puzzle began to align, the well's light intensified, threatening to overwhelm Alex's senses. The Guardian, sensing the danger, reached out, a warning clear in the silent gesture. To gaze too deeply was to risk losing oneself in the well's infinite mysteries, caught between the desire for knowledge and the instinct for self-preservation. Alex stood on the brink of an abyssal truth, the story suspended in a moment of profound decision. The well, the guardian, the storm, and the night itself awaited Alex's choice, each a thread in the tapestry of this endless horror narrative. The path forward shrouded in shadow, the tale poised to unfold into ever darker realms. decision, with the well's vortex inviting and the guardian's silent warning, Alex's world teetered on the edge of revelation and oblivion. The storm's crescendo mirrored the internal turmoil, a symphony of chaos and clarity that threatened to engulf everything. The guardian, a figure both enigmatic and oddly comforting, gestured towards the well with a solemnity that spoke volumes, its eyes conveying an urgency that belied its stoic stance. It was as if the guardian itself was bound to the well, its fate intertwined with the secrets it held and the choices made at its precipice. With the visions from the well growing more intense, Alex glimpsed scenes of ancient rites, forgotten civilizations that had once circled this very well, drawing upon its power and succumbing to its allure. Each vision served as a cautionary tale, a piece of a larger narrative that hinted at the well's true nature, not just a repository of knowledge, but a sentinel guarding the threshold between worlds. As the guardian extended its hand, a tangible offer of guidance, or perhaps a deterrent from venturing too far, the well's light surged, casting both figures in a stark relief against the tempest's fury. The rain seemed to pause momentarily, droplets suspended in midair as if time itself had yielded to the gravity of the decision at hand. Alex, caught in the interplay of light and shadow, of past and present, felt an inexplicable connection to the well, the guardian, and the storm. It was as if the night's journey had been leading to this moment, a confluence of events that defied logic, yet felt 
eerily predestined, with a resolve born of both fear and fascination. Alex reached out, fingertips brushing against the Guardian's outstretched hand. The contact was electric, a jolt of energy that coursed through Alex, offering glimpses of understanding, flashes of insight into the well's ancient mysteries and the Guardian's solemn duty. Yet, even as clarity beckoned, the well's vortex pulsed with a darker allure, its depths whispering promises of forbidden knowledge and untold power. The visions intensified, pulling at Alex's very soul, a siren call that threatened to unravel the fabric of reality itself. In this moment, poised between enlightenment and madness, Alex stood at the heart of the storm, the well's guardian by their side, a silent sentinel in the face of unfathomable depths. The tale, ever unfolding, hung in the balance, a narrative thread woven into the night's tapestry, its continuation a path shrouded in mist, leading ever deeper into the heart of the unknown, the story perpetually on the cusp of the next revelation, the next twist in this unending horror saga. As Alex stood at the precipice of the well, the Guardian's touch acting as both anchor and guide, a profound realization dawned. The well, with its pulsating vortex and ancient symbols, was not merely a conduit of forgotten knowledge, but a guardian itself of a delicate balance between realms, a balance now threatened by the storm's unrelenting fury and the darkness that lay in the depths below. The visions, once a mesmerizing lure, now took on a more sinister tone, revealing not just the past, but potential futures, each more dire than the last. Scenes of chaos and destruction, worlds unmade by the unbridled power that the well guarded, played out in the swirling depths, a stark warning of the consequences should the balance be upset. The Guardian, sensing Alex's growing understanding, tightened its grip, its presence a reassuring solidity amidst the tempest. In that moment of unity, a plan formed, born of necessity and the urgent need to preserve the fragile equilibrium that held the darkness at bay. With a determined resolve, Alex turned away from the well's seductive depths, focusing instead on the storm above, drawing upon the connection with the Guardian and the well's latent power. Alex reached out to the heart of the tempest, seeking to calm the chaos that mirrored the turmoil below. The air crackled with energy as the well's light and the storm's fury met, a cataclysmic confrontation that lit the night sky. The rain, once a relentless deluge, began to slow, the wind's howl diminishing to a mournful whisper, the thunder's roar fading into the distance. In the well's depths, the swirling vortex began to subside, the visions dissipating as the balance was painstakingly restored, the ancient symbols glowed softly, a sign of the well's quiescence, its secrets safe once more within the stone confines. The Guardian, its duty fulfilled alongside Alex, offered a nod of acknowledgement, a silent testament to the bond forged in the heart of the storm. As the first rays of dawn pierced the clearing. The guardian faded into the morning mist, its watchful presence a memory etched in the light of the new day. Alex, standing alone in the clearing, gazed into the well one last time, the 
the light within had dimmed. The vision ceased, leaving only the reflection of a world returned to a semblance of order, a fragile peace hanging in the balance. As the sun rose, casting long shadows across the land, Alex turned from the well. The night's events, a haunting echo in the light of day. The road home lay open, a path leading away from the darkness and the mysteries of the well. But the journey had left its mark, a reminder of the thin veil between worlds and the guardians who stand watch at the boundaries. The tale of the night drive that turned into a horror movie scene concluded not with answers, but with a deeper understanding of the mysteries that lurk in the shadows, the delicate balance that holds the darkness at bay, and the courage required to face the unknown, to stand as guardian at the edge of night.